We were involved in aerial agriculture. We were the last ones in actual fact flying tiger moths doing crop dusting. And um, I can still remember flying out to the middle of Australia with my father. And I was uh, probably 14 years of age. My father had a very big night the night before. Coming back he said, well you can fly this. And I said, that's not a problem. We went for two and a half hours and we were getting close to where we had to put down to refuel. I shook him and couldn't wake him and I thought this is starting to get a little serious now. And I was starting to get nervous and of course, next thing he woke up and he gave me a blast for not waking him and I've never forgotten that. It was a lot of fun we used to have in those days. In 1939, my father commenced as David Gray and Company in the production of stock foods. And the business evolved from that point. Most of it we actually manufacturer on demand, so our stock holdings of finished product aren't all that significant. Nowadays we operate in five separate divisions, consumer products, stock foods. We have the mobile garbage cart business, distribution and wholesaling into the agricultural chemical sector. And finally there is the our, our contract packaging side of the business. Further down here we'll see the Antex product that is a very big product for us. It gets date coded and then prepared into the cartons. You can see they're a shelf ready cart. So that's the way they go out. Innovation's been very important to David Gray and Company. It more than excites me, I think it's critical for a company to survive. We were significant suppliers of fly spray in Western Australia and thought it was important that we get into the aerosol industry. In terms of uh, ozone layer holes, when that did become a major issue, we were already across that because we'd prepared products using hydrocarbons rather than uh, the old fluorocarbons. And we've done a lot of work in the laboratory. It wasn't just a matter of taking an alternative and putting it in and hoping it would work. Manufacturing in Australia at the moment is, is quite difficult. We've refocused and become far more of a niche manufacturer. We've got to use a purified water and aerosols and as a consequence of that we had excess capacity and there was a demand particularly for the steam irons and batteries. We've been innovating different types of products for different areas. That's been one of our strengths, but there are constraints when you get to trying to develop those ideas at times and a lot of those constraints revolve around finance. In the early days we were disappointed with the dealings we were having with an Eastern States Bank at the time. We were putting projects towards them and while the state managers were more than happy to accept our projects. They always had to be back referred back to the East Coast and we didn't always get the answer we were hoping for. We came to Bank West, we got together and it's been a great relationship ever since. This area that we're in at the moment is where we've expanded fairly significantly in the agrochemical area. So you get the Roundup CT which is the 450. When David Gray approaches the bank to take advantage of an opportunity they see. The people who are actually making the decision, they're local people, they know who David Gray is, they know his products. Things were expanding very rapidly, it actually went a lot quicker than we really thought it would initially. We picked up the phone one day because uh, we found ourselves under some financial pressure, but Bank West was very happy to step in, it's been a joint venture in some respects. David will approach us with a proposition, um, we workshop it with the credit people. Yeah, because we're all up front and everyone knows what we're doing, it makes the whole decision process easier. I've got to say, that's, that's exactly what's happened for us. We've never had any problems getting proposals through with Bank West because we can speak to the people who make the decisions. I came on board around about nine years ago. Nick saw an opportunity to look after the mobile garbage cart, which he's done extremely well from the time he's taken it over. Governments around the world are trying to do, they're trying to re reduce their footprint um, and send less into to landfill so that we see that there'll be more and more requirement for, for different waste uh, handling equipment, which is really what the wheelie bins are all about. Because they're bought in such a, a, a bulk format, that's often um, hard to finance. The, the assistance that Bank West have afforded us has, has meant we can go and finance container loads of wheelie bins. It's a pleasure to support companies like David Gray, who are local WA businesses, who are doing really well in the current economic times. We are a West Australian company, we're a family owned business. Um, I've been a great supporter of things that are made in Western Australia all along. Anything that we can bring together that's local 
it just makes our life so much easier. Over the last 10 years, David Gray's business has grown hugely and it's been a pleasure for the bank to be involved with an iconic WA brand and a local WA industry. Our old offices in West Perth have all hats and a bit of DDT on the counter. I look back and I'm rather proud of the fact that we are still in the industry. There are a number of other like businesses who have either been taken over or have just quietly disappeared off the scene. And it's great to know that we are still a well-respected name, particularly in the state, but nationally now and starting to go international. David is the third generation to take the business and it's great to see that his sons will be here to carry the business name on. I think Nick is he's showed good management skills in getting where he's got to and, uh, and I know he talks to the rest of the staff and I think he'd make a good manager. I think it's exciting. There's plenty of support around us from the bank, from, from the guys who we have uh, working with us. As long as we, uh, we keep the fundamentals right, um, I think we can, we'll be just fine. We're proud of our heritage and where we've come from and we plan to be here for a lot longer yet.